Hi, Oily Concepts. Uh, my name is Vanessa Hool, and thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, have you ever wondered how essential oils could help support your emotional well being? Well, like many in individuals, the holidays, uh, well, they tend to bring a mixed array of emotions for me. Um, and they seem to kind of ampl amplify how much I really miss my parents. Um, I lost my stepdad when I was uh, 19 years old, uh, my stepmom a couple of years ago, and my mom just recently too. Uh, so I really miss my parents, especially around the holidays. Uh, so tonight I thought we would talk about uh, my fa favorite collection of oils, the Feelings Kit. Um, so I began using essential oils two years ago because my dog, Jackson, he was an anxious mess. And if I'm honest, I was an emotional wreck. I had just lost my grandmother and not even 30 days later, uh, my mother passed away too. Uh, thankfully, um, somebody was brave enough to introduce me to these little miracles in a bottle because they have been a total lifesaver for me. And the best part, I began sharing with my friends and family, and before I knew it, I was receiving a paycheck from Young Living, uh, and I was getting my oils for free. So Young Living has been a godsend that I will forever be thankful for. Um, before we get started, I do have to say that I am not a medical professional. Uh, the information and products shared in this class are not intended to treat, cure, diagnose, uh, or prevent disease, nor is it meant to replace professional medical attention or advice. All the information applies to Young Living brand or oils specifically. All right, so let's dive in, shall we? So we deal with, uh, with emotions on a daily basis, right? They play a huge part in our life, uh, our direction, and even our focus. We have all experienced lasting adverse impressions that scar our inner self, prohibiting self-growth and accomplishment. We carry around some extra baggage, basically. Even worse, we're, we carry around our parents and our grandparents' baggage. Seriously, it's true. Negative energy and emotions are recorded into our DNA and passed on to our children. A study examining the DNA of Holocaust survivors and their children found similar variations in both generations for the gene uh, that's associated with depression and anxiety disorders. Gotta love those psychology classes, right? Anyways, um, this is why it's really important for us to release and process our emotions with intent instead of to instead of carrying them around or bottling them up inside. So tonight we're gonna to be talking about six essential oils and how they can assist, assist you in processing your emotions in a healthy manner. Um, the feelings protocol that we'll be discussing is actually based on a mural that Gary found in the Temple of Isis called Cleansing the Flesh and Blood of Evil Deities. Uh, it is designed to release negative emotions, unresolved angers, resentments, uh, and even ancestral memory of trauma and pain. Pretty cool, huh? So how can essential oils influence my emotions? Well, the answer is your brain. Uh, humans process sense through our emotional brain or our limbic system before the rational or logical brain has time to kick in. So this means that unlike our other senses, any aroma that we inhale makes us feel before we can even think about it. The limbic system is our brain's, it's basically our brain's librarian for emotions uh, and memories. One drop of essential oil consists, consists of um, a million trillion molecules of powerful compounds for supporting both our physical and emo emotional well being. Uh, and it is in a natural aromatic uh, liquid form. Uh, behavioral issues in children are now being linked to synthetic scents that can be found in personal care items, household cleaners, and even our food. So scent, it can positively or negatively influence our emotional state. And that's why it's important to know who made um, who made your essential oils, God 
or somebody in a lab. So oils aren't, oops, <laughs> oils aren't magical bullets. Um, they won't process your emotions for you. Uh, one whiff won't magically make you a super nice person without any cares or negative memories, but the oils bring um, emotions to the surface. Uh, they help you get to the root uh, emotions in your life and um, throughout your history so that you can deal with them in a healthy way and let them go. Uh, they help us identify areas of weakness and growth so that we can grow towards our best selves. Um, essential oils should be, is a script, scriptural uh, directive, so they should be used alongside prayer, faith, and scriptures, and never uh, in substitute of them. So have you ever had an experience where an oil impacted your emotions? Uh, a quick story of mine is when I first smelled joy, I hated it. My, ugh, that's so gross. It smells like rotting corpses. Get that away. Um, what I didn't know is that uh, when you have a strong dislike uh, for a particular oil, it usually means that it's trying to help you uh, deal with a specific emotion or memory. Um, joy specifically helps to overcome grief. And keep in mind, I had just lost my grandma and my mom. Uh, so anyways, I kept using it. Um, and before long, it actually started to smell really, really good. And now I absolutely love this smell and I use it all the time. So if you have a strong dislike for an oil, you might want to check to see what the uh, emotional connection is. Okay, so before we dive into the feelings kit, I want to talk to you a little bit about the emotional VitaFlex points. Because uh, this will help you target and release some of the pent up emotions that you may be harboring. So, Vitaflex uh, essentially means vitality through the reflexes. And if you've been using essential oils for a while, you've probably heard um, that there's Vitaflex points on your hands and your feet, um, but they're also on your ears. Um, and this chart kind of shows you um, where to target some of those, some of those areas. Um, Vitaflex is a form of healing that's believed to have originated in Tibet many thousands of years ago before ac uh, acupuncture um, came into practice. <clears throat> Using essential oils via the Vitaflex points can help us to identify various structural and health-related needs um, and is one of the best ways to deliver the healing properties of essential oils throughout the body. So to demonstrate really quick, I've got dog hair on my nose, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so put um, one to three drops in your hand, in the palm of your hand. Uh, you wanna use your non-dominant hand um, and then use your dominant hand and kind of dip it in the well. And you want, using your fingers, you wanna um, stir it three times in a clockwise motion. Um, and this actually increases the electrical frequency um, of the essential oil and helps to enhance the result. Okay, so then we're gonna pretend my arm is the um, Vitaflex point and you wanna um, use the, the pad and this is kind of the neutral position and you wanna go up and this is a charge and then you wanna roll to the tips of your, or to the, your nail bed. And you wanna do that three times. So then you wanna go all the way back to the pad, up to your nails, and then over. And you wanna do that three times. Um, you'll notice there's a lot of things uh, with Young Living that is um, triplicate. So, so it's pretty easy, right? Um, all right, so let's get going with this. Okay, so, God designed um, our emotions to be gauges and not guides. Uh, they're meant to report to you, not control you. Uh, our emotions are wired into what we believe and what we value. Um, so get ready today. Uh, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. 
He will make you promises and or threats against you. He will likely try and tap into your weak areas of unbelief. And you may find your emotions surging in the wrong direction. Remember, your emotions are gauges, not guides. So um, let them tell you where the attack is, um, where it's being made, and then let them go. Anytime you use essential oils, it should be done with love, prayer, and intent. So as we go through the oils tonight, I will provide a key verse um, for uh, scripture uh, for you to be thinking about as you apply the oils. All right, ready? All right, here we begin. Here we begin. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Protocol step number one is valor. Uh, valor was formulated to balance energies and instill courage. Um, courage, confidence, and self-esteem. It helps the body self-correct its balance and alignment. Um, it helps to release aggression, defensiveness, fear of conflict, inability to cope, losing a battle, feelings of being persecuted, uh, resignation, and withdrawn. So the verse, the righteous are bold as a lion. And you want to um, place valor all over your feet. So one to three drops in your hand, stir it um, clockwise, rub it on your feet. One to three drops on your other hand, stir it clockwise, and rub it on your feet. Uh, protocol step number two is harmony, and harmony promotes uh, physical and emotional healing by creating a harmonic balance for energy, um, for the energy centers of the body. It brings us into harmony with all things, people, and cycles of life. It is beneficial in reducing stress, amplifying well-being, and dissipating feelings of discord. It is also uplifting and elevating to the mind, creating um, a positive attitude. It helps to release uh, feelings of being ignored, um, crushed feeling, hostility, fear of punishment or beatings, um, beating oneself, beating yourself up. I do that a lot. Um, it's also good for releasing uh, feelings of stubbornness um, as well as sarcasm. Uh, so live quietly and do your work. It's pretty, that's pretty profound. Whatever your work may be, whether it's, um, for me, it's helping others, service missions, um, that's my work uh, when I think of that. So, so think about that. Before you put the oil on, think about what that means to you. Live quietly and do your work. Um, and then you massage it into the crown of your head. All right, so step number three uh, is forgiveness. And forgiveness helps to release hurt feelings and negative emotions. Uh, it also helps to rele release negative memories, allowing one to move past uh, emotional barriers, uh, attain higher awareness, um, and assisting that you uh, to forgive and to let go. It helps to release feelings of betrayal, distrust, uh, repeating the past, revenge, and self-denial. Um, Jax and I used forgiveness a lot in the beginning. Um, the key verse is forgive so God can forgive you. Hi, baby. Um, and uh, forgiveness, you want to, again, dip it, and then go around the navel. Um, you're actually kind of aiming for your solar plexus, um, your solar plexus chakra, um, which is just above your belly button. But if you kind of go, just go around your navel, um, that's good. All right, so step number four uh, is release. And before we get into this one, I have to caution you, um, make sure that when you're using release that you have plenty of alone time. Uh, the first time I used it, I within five minutes, I was crying um, uncontrollably for a good 10 minutes. Uh, the second time I used it, I was so angry. Uh, I don't know why, I just rage. Uh, so make sure that you allow plenty of time to process 
your emotions in between each, um, each of these steps. So release is very helpful uh, to release anger and memory trauma from the liver um, in order to create uh, emotional well-being. Uh, some people, they believe that anger, um, hostility, and all of that is stored in, your, in our livers. Um, so release uh, helps to let go. Uh, it is one of the most powerful uh, of the emotional supporting oils that we have. So again, I, I love it. I highly recommend using it. Just make sure that, that you're prepared. Uh, release helps you to release dejection, fear of success, um, feelings of being held back, the loss of identity, um, feelings that love is conditional, uh, rebellion, um, and all of that. So let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you along with all malice. Um, and you take that and you rub it right under your liver, which is right under um, and your rib cage, under your breast, and the right side, I believe. Don't quote me on that. You might want to look that up. I think it's the right side, but you might want to check. All right, so step number five is present time. Uh, and present time is an empowering blend that creates a feeling of being in the moment, being present. Uh, unease develops when we live in the past uh, and we live with regret. Uh, being in the present, the present time, is key to progressing and moving forward. Uh, this blend helps to release um, feelings of being flustered, uh, illusions, loss, malice, feelings of being repressed or stuffed emotions, uh, as well as resistance to change. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. And you want to apply this one right behind your ears. All right. Protocol step number six is inner child. And this is probably one of my favorite. And I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can see that. Jax is being so cute. Um, he is my inner child. He brings that out in me. Um, inner child stimulates memory response and helps one to reconnect with their inner self or their identity. Uh, this is one of the first steps to finding emotional balance. Um, it's good for those who take things too seriously or need to reconnect with our true selves, which may have been disrupted or altered, uh, especially during your childhood. Uh, release, um, inner child releases feelings, um, it actually has a clearing of the cellular memory, um, feelings of desertion, distortion, uh, and erratic energy. Um, and, he, and he said, I tell you the truth, unless you turn around and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever then humbles himself like this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I don't want to grow up. Um, and you put that one right under your nose. All right. And the final step is to reapply valor on both of your feet. Um, the righteous are as are bold as a lion. So that's it. Um, pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty powerful. It is extremely powerful. Uh, so when should you use the feelings kit? <clears throat> well, do you have memories or emotions? Yeah, yeah, then you should use it. Uh, this kit isn't just for people with crazy pasts like myself uh, who desperately need emotional support. Uh, the kit is also for people who feel mundane or are just ready to make a change. Uh, if you wanna be a little more uh, emotionally healthy um, for your work, uh, or in just more emotionally balanced, uh, reconnect with Christ, uh, or just improve your relationships in general, whatever the reason. Um, the feelings kit is also great 
to use during pregnancy, mom and baby should both have a fun and exciting pregnancy. Uh, we can break the generational, generational curses uh, with us. The next generation won't have to deal with those same things that we have. So it becomes a series of choices. What are we going to send on to the next generation? Bitterness, self-doubt, and negative emotional patterns? Or love, forgiveness, and healthy emotional patterns? So Gary recommends that we do the feelings kit protocol morning and night for 30 days. Um, and he says, you will feel enthusiastic, your life will be full of excitement, and people will be drawn to you like a magnet. Now, I have to say, I first got the um, feelings kit in November of 2016, and I did do it for 30 days. And it was amazing. Um, I wasn't planning on building a team at that time, and the team grew by leaps and bounds. Um, everything was, I mean, it was kind of a, I was still in shock, so I don't remember a whole lot of it, but good things were happening. So um, I will be doing the feelings kit uh, beginning, I sh my forgiveness should be here um, on Monday. So starting on Monday, um, December, when, December 3rd, I will be um, doing the feelings kit um, protocol uh, for 30 days. So I hope you'll join me uh, in doing that. Um, keep in mind, these oils are not the only ones that um, assist with emotional balance. Um, essential oils are designed by God to help us uh, with this. And Gary has also formulated many blends for this specific um, purpose. Um, but when in doubt, grab any oil, uh, any oil at all. The worst thing that you can do is just leave them in the bottle. So when in doubt, grab an oil. Uh, oh, so um, here is the feelings kit information. Um, it is 181 for all six of the oils. You can use your essential rewards um, points uh, to get your kit for free like I did. Um, or you could add it to your essential rewards order and receive up to 25% back in ER points, um, depending on where you're at. Um, if you don't know what essential rewards are, uh, as an essential rewards member, you can earn points back on everything that you order. Uh, Young Living starts you at 10% back, then after three consecutive months, you go up to 20% and then eventually the 25% back. You also get free gifts at three, six, nine, and 12 months. Uh, the gift at 12 months is our ex uh, ER exclusive loyalty oil, um, which you cannot otherwise buy. And finally, you also get uh, discounted shipping. Um, think of it kind of like Costco meets Amazon meets your cash back on your credit card. Only Young Living does it better. Um, it's free to join and you can cancel it at any time. It is so worth it. Um, and that is all we have, folks. So I want to just thank you very much for, for joining me and I hope you found this beneficial. All right. Have a great night, guys.